Okay, so let's get into the Atlas Games. The Atlas Games is uh, the one of the qualifiers. It's actually in the last week, so not this weekend coming up, but the following weekend. Uh, the Atlas Games occurs in Canada. A lot of the Canadian athletes who are trying to qualify for the CrossFit Games will actually be at the Atlas Games. So, uh, just giving, educating you a little bit more about my sport uh, while we're doing this. Uh, so, how this one's going to flow, it's a little bit different. We're going to need to program up four four-minute AMRAPs, okay? There is no rest in between the AMRAPs, and these are not an AMRAP. What they are is they are a sprint. So, you have four minutes to complete the work, okay? Uh, but you will, once you're done, your rest, the amount of rest you get is determined by how fast you get the work done. So just so we understand, buzzer goes, you will see I have 20 alternating chair step ups, 15 uh, body weight sumo deadlift high pulls, and five wall walks. So that is the work that you need to do in under four minutes. You should probably be getting it done in about two, two and a half, and getting a rest in between that, okay? So let's see what that looks like. First off is our 20 alternating chair, box, couch, step ups, okay? So we're here, all right, we're stepping up, we're getting full hip extension. This is probably what's gonna take the longest because there's not really any way to speed up box or chair step ups. We're here and we're always alternating those legs every round, okay? So 20 of those. Once they're done, we are gonna move into body weight sumo deadlift high pulls. So you can see here I've got my feet are outside my shoulders, okay? And I'm gonna think about when I'm squatting down that those feet, those knees are staying out over the feet, we're pushing those knees out, and we're doing a shrug with our hands, right? So we're reaching down nice and deep. So even though we're not using any weight of any kind, and if you wanted to use like a book bag or something, that's fine, it's still the same movement, we're here, once those hip makes, once that hip gets fully extended, then we pull up those arms and we get those elbows up high above our shoulders, okay? So that is our second movement. You would do 15 of those. After that, we are gonna progress into wall walks, okay? So our wall walks, now for those of you who don't have your wall walks, that's fine. What we can do is we can set up some tape on the floor and we can go five feet, right? Hands start out behind that tape we get those hips above our head and we're walking it out across that other piece of tape, turning that out, right? And then we're gonna go again until we get across that five feet. So every time your hands start behind that line and your feet cross that line for one rep, you do that five times, okay? For those of you who wanna do wall walks, what that looks like, Right? We get tight to that, we get our feet against that wall, our hands are on the ground. Now, if we don't have our full wall walks, that's fine. Feet come up on the wall, hands come back about a foot, come back down, get down off the wall, and we're here, okay? Now, in this workout, you have lots of time to do your wall walks, okay? So I would think this is a great workout to push a little higher up that wall than you have in the past, okay? This is a great workout for that, okay? There is ample time. If you go slowly through those wall walks, you are not gonna jack your heart rate up, okay? If you just go at a nice steady pace. So, if we're gonna do our full wall walks, right, we're here, we're pushing back into that wall. We're gonna get our hands tight to that wall, our chest to the wall, come back down. We're back down on the ground. That's your workout. 20 box chair step ups, 15 body weight sumo high pulls, five wall walks, okay? Rest the remainder of that four minutes. Repeat it three more times. Your score, total working time, have fun with it.